the Sea Haven is on the opposite side of the city from here. We need to go towards the central plaza first. We can only get to the Sea Haven via the path that leads to Talam Medical School. After crossing the central plaza, turn right at the first corner. If Efreet were here, I'd never have to be drenched like this. school. Mr. Eldon? Is that you? W what's going on here? I can't believe you are the one we're looking for. Jude Mathis, I have a warrant for your arrest. There's one for her too. I'm authorized to use force if necessary, but I don't want to hurt you. But wait, just hold on a minute. We may have done a little breaking and entering, but that hardly makes us public enemy number one. So much for that. It looks like they're not listening. Mr. Eldon! I'm sorry. But I'm afraid I have my orders. Jude, I can't let them capture me. I have to resist. Then we'll do it the hard way. Go on, get her! Goodbye, Jude. Forgive me for all of this. Think your next move over carefully, Doc. The more trouble you give us, the harder your sentence. It's just that... I just wanted to... Well, aren't these military types brave? Protecting the world from pipsqueaks like you. Uh... Who are you? Save the chit-chat for later. Your lovely lady friend's about to set sail, you know. Wait, but I... Listen close, kid. The military issued your warrant, and with the Military Powers Act invoked, you're an ex-marked criminal. If they catch you, you'll face... execution. What? Execution? Look at them! Come on. <clears throat> You're sturdier than you look. What's going on here? The military's doing drills or something on shore. We were just getting out of their way. Come on, do you really think a pipsqueak, a pretty girl, and a dashing man like me would be up to no good? Um... It's Alvin. Huh? That's my name. You said that you're Jude, right? Uh, yes sir. And this is Mila. Hang in there, kid. That captain needs to lay off a bit. Is he planning to grill us the entire voyage? What do you expect? We don't have any sort of identification. Speak for yourselves. I can't believe we're heading to Ajul. Look, 
We're leaving Fenmont Spirit Climb. You said you're a med student. <laughs> Didn't expect that. Hey, can I ask you something? Why did you save us? What's in it for you? Well, cash, of course. How does saving us make you money? Simple. I figure you must be in serious trouble if the military's after you. Now that I've swung to your rescue and impressed you with my daring do, I can charge you for my services. Charge us what? I'm nearly broke. Same goes for me, I'm afraid. Seriously? I take more than just cash, you know. Don't you have any precious metals? Jewels? Rich relatives about to croak? Nothing on me. Everything happens so fast. I doubt I have anything that would sell for a high price either. What exactly do you do, Alvin? You look like a soldier, but you sure don't act like one. <laughs> You're on the right track, kid. I'm a mercenary. It's better than being a soldier. We don't have to follow orders. We set our own hours, and we help people. For a price. Well, it would seem like you helped us for free. Ah, uh, well, it's a risk of the trade. Maybe I'll find some paying customers in Anjou. Sorry about that. Charity work. Wonderful. <sighs> Are we there yet? It's hard to believe we're in a whole different country. Although it feels just like home. Hmm? Well, this part of Ajul is hardly what I'd call exotic. Huh. Hey, there's a map. Let me check it out for a bit. Brave kid. The way he plays it cool. Decided to make the best of it, has he? He's not as immature as he looks. Would it kill you to show a little concern? I mean, you dragged him into this, right? He insisted on helping me. I told him again and again to go home, but he wouldn't listen. He's here of his own accord. <laughs> I see. He believes he got himself into this mess, so now he has to put on a brave face. Either way, he's still acting like an adult. North of here. Hmm. So? You leaving now? No. Alvin, you must be well versed with a sword. Mercenaries like you must have some battle chops. Well, yeah, of course. Could you teach me how to use one? I don't have the four to back me up anymore. If I can't wield a sword, what's left? The four? Not sure I follow. But I'd be more than happy to teach you. If only you had some cash. So you won't help? Here, how about we make some moolah while I train you? What do you mean? Well, there's got to be some paying customers here in the Sea Haven, right? Let's take a look around. This was surging with mana when they activated their so-called Lance of Kresnik. So this must be the key they used to arm it. Do you want something? Whoa, hold your fire! I come in peace. Can't a mercenary have a friendly chat with his client? 
That much is fine. But when you want to chat, you needn't hold your breath and sneak up behind me. Sheesh. You make me sound so unsavory. Do you berate poor Jude like this too? I don't intend to berate anyone. That was never my intention. Do try to be gentle with him. Boys can be so vulnerable. That's a surprisingly tender sentiment. That's what it says on my business card. The mercenary with a heart of gold. Those are good words to live by. Although, with a motto like that, I can't imagine you'd live very long. <laughs> Not the type to sugarcoat things, are you? Hey there. You've got a request, right? How about letting us handle it? Oh, you're mercenaries. Oh, perfect timing. What kind of request? Well, someone's got a problem with monsters, and we get paid to solve their problem. Oh, so by taking on these jobs, you get the reward, and I get the practice. Right, everybody wins, well, except the monsters. Okay, hit us with the details. Some monsters we've never seen before are lurking near a lake west of the Sea Haven. A lot of people depend on that lake for water, so those monsters have become a real nuisance. I'm looking for someone to exterminate the beasts. What's the reward? Cash, of course. You heard the woman. Thoughts? Sounds fine to me. Fighting monsters will be good training. Excellent. Now these beasts are no pushovers, so please watch yourselves. About your sword training, the monsters aren't just going to stand there like training dummies, you know? We should go over some basics first. I appreciate it. Ready your sword. Well, that'll do. You have my gratitude. Shall we go? Wait, Jude. Take a moment to consider your situation. You don't have to stay with me anymore, you know. Uh, right. Now that we've crossed the border, it'll be a while before any pursuers from Rashugal get here. What are you suggesting? Just that he still has some time to think things over. Sorry, I'll make up my mind by the time you set off. Okay, very well. Let's go and complete that request. You thought you were doing the right thing. And now you're on the run. That's a pretty tough lesson for a kid your age. Yeah. But I brought it upon myself.
Thank you. 